Uh, but this is, you know, it's like if you're a historical society, why are you having the art exhibit? Well, um, this is a historical art exhibit, and we've actually done this a couple of times. Um, we have art, but we also have interpretive panels, so we're telling the story of the man who created this, this wonderful art. And so um, we, this is probably at least our third or fourth art history exhibit that we've done. So, um, and we're, we just uh, really love to do it and it makes a great partnership with the Stanton Augusta Art Center. Um, that made this happen and I'm so glad it did because we're bringing to light a, a really amazing story of our Augusta County uh, wonderful art culture that we, we have here. Um, I really, until Mr. Wade brought it up, I really didn't have uh, Raymond Yoder on my radar screen. I, I say that, but I'm certain, I'm absolutely certain that I was a recipient of this education tendrils of the art out in the county because I went to Riverheads High School in the 1970s when Mr. Yoder was really, uh, you know, at the height of his outreach into the area. So not only was he uh, overseeing all of the art in Waynesboro, but he taught a lot of art teachers and art classes out in the community. Uh, in fact, some of those people were art teachers at Riverheads High School. So I, I have no doubt that, that when I took art for three years at Riverheads High School, that I was a recipient of his, of his, of his work. I just didn't know it. And that's, that's, that's the amazing thing about this man is his ripples continue today because he taught, he taught students and he taught teachers, and the teachers taught the students, and the students grew up and taught their children as it became teachers and taught. So his ripples are still here today because of what he did. I want to, to say that I'm Dr. Bill Wayne. Uh, I'm a retired United Methodist minister and a former professor of religion you know, here in the Valley of Virginia. And I was first entranced by a ritual watercolor at Ray Yoder while well, dining at Mrs. Rao's restaurant. Has anybody ever eaten oh, at Mrs. Yes. Rao's restaurant? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and Stanton here, following my appointment to the Bath Larger Parish uh, out in Bath County in June of 1980. And for soon to be now 44 years, uh, I have been inspired by Ray Yoder's creative gifts, his dedication as a teacher, his personal witness of faith, and his generous sharing to others in the Waynesboro community. My life has been enriched by his life, although I never had the pleasure of meeting him personally. The few did, the yeah. did before his death in 1997. At long last, fulfillment of decades long dream, we are honored to have sponsored this opening exhibition for the 60th year of Augusta County Historical Society. We take delight in sharing with you present tonight, with those who will be viewing in person in coming months, and with those who may come to see the forthcoming video celebrating this occasion. This our tribute to Mr. Ray Yoder and his legacy. Celebrating Ray Yoder, an educator with a mission, remembering his life, preserving his work as a valued artist, teacher, and fellow citizen, Laura Allen and I, together with the Augusta County Historical Society, seek to take part in the continuing cultural heritage of Augusta County in the Valley of Virginia sharing it with you tonight in hopes that it will also become a gift to those who follow us tomorrow. Enjoy. Thank you. These little birds are from the very first class and only class that I took from Mr. Yoder when I was a teacher of um, actually English at Riverheads High School here in Augusta County. And the first thing we did, he gave us some clay and it was rounded and we were supposed to create something. So I created these little guys and, and then I did some other work in his class, which I have given away. These are what I've kept. And um, they're quite old because I'm now retired as a teacher. <laughs> I remember liking him so much because he was so knowledgeable and very friendly as a teacher, and he guided us. He guided me and anybody else, I guess, who wanted it. He was um, skilled, and I could tell that, and a very lovely gentleman at the same time. Mm -hmm. I never saw him after that, and that was a long time ago.
Okay, what do you think, guys? Are you happy? They're very happy. I remember Ms. Fiotta as the art teacher in Waynesboro Public Schools. When I was in Waynesboro Public Schools, I was not an art student, I was not artistic. But then when I got out of college, I worked in his office when he was the graphic design or something like that, specialist for the Waynesboro City Schools. Uh, he used to make a lot of those little whistling critters at work. And when we got married, he gave us a watercolor for our wedding gift, which was a rippling brook of some sort. And that was later donated to the only drove out the school board offices. Okay. So that's my memory of Mr. Yoda. Hi, my name is Michael Grassi. I'm the current owner of Mrs. Rowell's Restaurant and Bakery in Stanton, Virginia. Mrs. Rowell is my mother. And I have worked in this restaurant since I was 12 years old. So I remember Mr. Yoder quite vividly. His, his, uh, he would come in here and eat almost several times a week. And when he did, he would bring his art in with him. And he would take it back in the dining room and he would switch over to art that hadn't been sold. And it was, it was just a wonderful thing. And he had quite a following. People came in here just to seek his art, his new art. And, uh, I think over the years we've probably sold more of his art than anybody else in shown that rally. And the uh, statement that, that I took from his writings in preparation for the uh, exhibition, I like the quote that Mr. Yoder wrote, art is something in which you can always be right. I like that. Not because I'm a good artist at all, but he saw that with the children, that the kids could be right. It didn't have to be this way or that way that they could express themselves and that each person could have their vision. He's generally known, best known, for the watercolor landscapes uh, that were generated on air, as I said, plein air, on location, where original, personal, artistic expression could flourish. If I want to share this with you. He organized countless class field trips and summer seminars that gave students the opportunity to paint in natural settings. While the American art scene evolved and changed, Yoder stayed true to a realist art tradition. In doing so, he reserved for posterity paintings of natural beauty, rural scenes, farms, and pre-industrial structures of the Shenandoah Valley that have disappeared in the wake of growth. He credited his strong personal faith for his preference for landscapes as opposed to portraiture, still life, or abstract art. He once said, I am a landscape artist because in that experience, I could open the common person's eyes to the beauty of nature, which God created, and they don't notice. Lovers of Yoder's paintings often speak of the flowing brushwork, the pleasing color, a sense of order, leisure, and peace. There's no hint of violence or the hectic tension of modern society. Later in life, this was recognized by those who called him the Dean of Ballet Painters.